hey there you're welcome to this channel so if you're watching this video it's most likely that you are at that point in your design journey where you're trying to figure out which design tool you would like to use going forward uh maybe by reason of influence or as a result of recommendation from the boot camp or this design course you're taking they've recommended figma and now you're trying to seek for a walkthrough on how to download figma or whether to even download the figma desktop app at all in this video we are going to be just checking through the differences between the desktop app and the web app and we're also going to be walking you through how to download figma it's going to be really really exciting stick with us through it you're welcome let's jump right to it all right so if this is your first time on this channel you're welcome if this isn't you're welcome back on this channel we are dedicated to helping designers grow even as we also grow so we'll be uploading useful tips and useful tutorial videos that will help you along your design journey so straight to what we are here for we're going to first be discussing the differences between the figma web app and the desktop app we are going to be dealing with a number of points i thought those that would like to install figma you would like to know some reasons whether you should stick with the web app or to download the Figma desktop app to your laptop. Now, you need to understand first that Figma desktop app works for both Mac OS and Windows. And you can download them for each, whatever, whichever one you are using rather. So we are going to be talking about deep work, local font speeds. And we are going to be making a conclusion based on all those things and based on the research I've done. So the first one is deep work. When it comes to the Figma desktop app, it enables you to fully focus and stay on, what, on one platform without being distracted. If you're using the web app, on the contrary, you'd, okay, you might decide at a point, okay, check another tab or look, take a look at something else that you're doing while on the desktop app, that isn't the case. You have full attention on the app and you can choose to just stay there and work on whatever you are doing. So... We're moving straight to local fonts. On the desktop app, you have the ability to use the local font. That means the fonts that you personally installed on your laptop. This would be something that is very, very pleasing to designers that use um, Adobe Photoshop, Corel Draw, or other design softwares. You know, being a desktop app, it is integrated with the local file. And as a result, you can pick the local fonts from the directories where they are situated. Meanwhile, in case of the web app, you can only have access to google fonts recommended google fonts and if you if there's a bypass around that if you want to have access to local fonts too but that could be something that we'll do in a later video so let's move on to the next point in terms of speed this is very very controversial but i believe and um, from what i've researched that the desktop app is faster than the web app people will be asking and be surprised like, okay how is that possible well the thing here is this as a desktop app, it has its allocated RAM and on the web app, it's also merged with other tabs and, you know, running it on the web app, it is susceptible to all of a sudden the browser trying to reload, refresh at certain points and or just let's say buffer and that could cause a lag in terms of speed. But the desktop app is dedicated. Um, I read somewhere that the person specifically said the desktop app is a special browser. Is a special browser. It's still online, by the way, but you can also have the opportunity to work offline, both on the web app and on the desktop app. That means once you load, once you load up all the things you need, you can just keep working with it, and then you can just power on your internet connection again to save it to the cloud. That is a very very lovely. Um, feature you know having to not save anything on your um, local file so in conclusion as i said the desktop app is just a special browser in terms of functions like the functionality of the both um application whether the web app or the desktop app there's literally no difference you use it for the same thing most the two of them have basically the same capacity it's just that these minor things and if you're someone that is just new to using these things i don't believe that you find a problem with any of them at all so without further ado let's move on to download the figma app first things first is to open our browser i'll be using chrome google chrome 
now you simply just go to figma.com and you see the landing page very very beautiful landing page so first you just go here again you like say first sorry about that so you come to downloads i'll go i'll do it again you see the landing page come to products come to downloads and click on downloads immediately this comes up now as you can see there's this here you see as you look at this desktop app does not require the font installer as i explained it's already con um, connected to the local directory it's able to get the um, local fonts from there but if you are using the web app you might need the um, font installer font installers now for the figma for ios and figma for android these are just to monitor and to check the files on your phone let's say you're on the go just take a look at them and to prototype to um, check the results of what you're currently doing on your file on your phone there's also an application for um iphone i don't know if it's available for android called figma mirror that's to just check or prototype your your file or whatever you're working on so look at this desktop app for mac os desktop app for windows and i uh, just click on desktop app for windows and as you can see the file here just wait a while so once that has downloaded all you need to do is to check your your download file and yeah click on it follow the required prompt i already have it on my laptop so i'll quickly show you how it looks so let me open it figma figma so hopefully it comes up quickly but quick let me show you how the desktop app looks the web app rather let me show you how that looks figma.com so it looks like the desktop app is delaying it doesn't usually happen like this but this is how the web app looks um, if you have any questions or if you have any problems while installing, you can drop it in the comment section and I'll be glad to help you attend to it or to see what might be the problem. So that's it for this video. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you think this is something that you would really like to continue checking through, we have some nice videos on our channel that would really help you as a designer. So please subscribe to this channel, share with friends too that you think might need this. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.